Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of mathematical economics. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss the type of functions. So we have identity function, constant function, polynomial function, linear function, quadratic function, and cubic function. You can find the uh, link of mathematical economics playlist in the description. You can also find videos on econometrics, statistics, SPSS, R Studio, economics on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Let's begin with the introduction. Y is equal to function of X is classified into different types of functions. Uh, so we have uh, functions uh, based on the set elements, based on equation, based on range, based on domain, so here I'm going to focus on the uh, functions based on equation. And we have these six functions. So first is identity function. The identity function has the same domain and range. So identity function equation is y is equal to function of x is equal to x. So the domain and range of the identity function is 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4 up to n, n. And uh, we always have a straight line that passes through the origin. So see this diagram. This is y is equal to x, identity function. So here we have 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4 and 5, 5 up to n, n. Then we have constant function. So all the domain elements have a single range in the constant function. So it is defined as y is equal to function of x. Here you can see. Which is equal to k and x belongs to r and k is a constant in r. So the domain of the function f is r, that is real numbers, and its range is k. So if we plot the diagram or graph, we find a straight line which is parallel to x-axis or a horizontal line. See this. So when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 7, x is equal to 2, again y is equal to 7. So here y is equal to 7 is our constant function. And therefore, we have the horizontal line. Third is polynomial function. A polynomial function is defined by y is equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus a3x cube plus up to plus anxn. So your n is non-negative integer and a0, a1, a2 up to an belongs to so the highest power in the expression, in the equation, is the degree of the polynomial function. The highest power in the expression is the degree of the polynomial function. So whether the function is linear, quadratic or cubic, that depends on the power of the polynomial function. That depends on the power of the polynomial function. So let's understand linear function. Linear function is the polynomial function with degree 1. So the domain and range of a linear function is a real number and it has a straight line graph with positive or negative slope. So the general form of linear equation is y is equal to mx plus c. Here m is the slope which is the coefficient of x and c is the intercept. So c uh, shows the value of y when x is equal to 0. So what is the formula to find the value of slope? So slope is equal to change in y that is delta y upon change in x that is delta x. So equation such as x is e y is equal to x plus 5 is linear equation and here slope is 1 y is equal to 2x, slope is 2, y is equal to 10 minus x, slope is minus 1. These are examples of, of linear function. 
even identity function that is y is equal to x can also be considered as a linear function so see this diagram here function is y is equal to x plus 5 so when uh, x is 1 y is equal to 6 when x is 2 y is equal to 7 up to uh, this pair that is 5 10 So here we have positively slope uh, linear line. Suppose function is y is equal to 10 minus x. So your slope is equal to minus 1. And therefore we have negatively sloped line. So when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 9, x is equal to 2, y is equal to 8, up to uh, x is equal to 5, y is equal to 5. So this is the linear function and degree of uh, degree is one. Now what is quadratic function? If the degree of the polynomial function is two, then it is quadratic function. If degree is one, we have linear function. If degree is two, we have quadratic function. So uh, see the equation. Y is equal to AX square plus BX plus C. So the domain and range of the quadratic function is again real number. And the graph of a quadratic equation is a non-linear graph and is parabolic in shape. See the diagram. This is our function y is equal to x square minus 4. So when x is equal to minus 8, y is equal to 60. see this x is minus 8 y is 60 when x is minus 6 y is 32 x minus 4 y is 12 similarly we can find other values here so it is parabolic in in shape so this is the quadratic function then we have cubic function so here the degree of polynomial function is 3. So if degree is 1, linear equation. If degree is 2, quadratic equation. If degree is 3, then we have cubic function. And this is our equation. So y is equal to ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d. Again, the domain and range of the quadratic function is The graph of a cubic function is more curved than the quadratic function. See the diagram. The equation is y is equal to x cube minus 5. So when x is minus 8, y is minus 517. When x is minus 6, y is minus 221. Similarly, we can find other values by substituting the value of x. So this is cubic function. So in this video, I have discussed the idea of identity function, constant function, polynomial functions, linear function, quadratic function and cubic function. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you.